Hi, I'm Alex Williams, Enterprise Writer at TechCrunch, here with Andrew Fogg of Import.io. How are you doing, Andrew? I'm doing great. Enjoying myself. Great. So, as I understand it, you're essentially helping people turn web pages into databases in many ways, and helping them create kind of an API out of their out of their web pages. Is that correct, or? Yeah. So basically, what we're allowing people to do is to turn any website into a spreadsheet or an API in a couple of minutes without writing any computer code and effectively treating the web as a database. That's the ambition of what we're trying to do. Because people do treat the web as a database, but essentially the web is made up of pages, yeah. and so it's almost, you have to abstract the pages away. Exactly, the problem is, so the, the web is great for humans. Web pages are there for humans to read. The problem is, and there's all this great data on it, but the problem is if you actually want to get that data out, you, are, you have two choices. You can use an API if there's one available. Very often there's not. If there's not an API, you have to uh, write a web scraper, uh, and that's kind of painful. It takes, we, we work with a lot of people who do this at scale, and we reckon it takes somewhere between four hours and four days for every website, which really constrains what you can do. So why do why would company want to turn their web page into a spreadsheet? Why? Uh, why? So this is more about people who want data from the web or from a number of websites in order to kind of operate on it. So talk about a number of use cases. Um, the British Red Cross in the UK, very simple use case. They wanted um, data about hospitals from the National Health Service. There is a website with all the data on, no API. So what they did is they built a connection on our platform and which creates an API for this website. And then they can now, they basically now, in their iPhone application, they have all of that hospital data. Very simple example. Another use case would be Hewlett Packard. Uh, HP sell laptops, uh, amongst other things, via channel partners like Amazon, etc. Now, these channel partners are meant to observe minimum retail price, so a price below which they shouldn't discount. But sometimes, um, Channel part, a channel partner might be a little bit naughty, might discount below MRP, steal all of the sales from the other channel partners, then put the price back up. You know, nothing to see here. Um, so this is obviously a problem for HP, who are trying to administer this channel program, problem for the other channel partners. So what they did is they built connectors, as we call them, to the websites of their channel partners, um, which at the end of which is an API and then that allows them to integrate that data into their existing business process and monitor price data live about their laptops being sold on their channel partners, just to make sure that everyone's like doing the right thing. Instead of spending the whole day long going from site to site to site to site, they were, monitoring yes. them. Uh, they had, the way they were solving this problem previously was uh, business analysts like people in a room Googling and filling a spreadsheet out.